Yeah, I don't have shoes. Up under the big rock and back. back under that rock again. You alright? You bug it? No, oh, you got the rock. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, it was the rock. I saw it happen. Chris move, Chris move. It's pretty. Oh, pretty. It's like pink. Look at that. She clipped this rock. It's a nice looking it. snake. A little agitated. Flicking the tail. It, the tail's still oh. yellow. The copperhead is one of two venomous snakes that occur here in Maryland. They're definitely very common in western Maryland. They aren't as common throughout most of the eastern and western coastal plains. So they're really a treat to find. This one here is very high pink in color, which is pretty rare. I, honestly, I've never even seen one with this much pink in it, and I've seen a lot of copperheads here in Maryland. So we just stopped alongside the road, found some rocks are really quite warm, sun exposed uh, over the open canopy along the road. So we thought it'd be a great spot for snakes and we uncovered this copperhead under a rock. It's not one of my favorite ways to find them, finding a venomous snake with a rock in your hand. And they're usually not happy when you flip them. But we're gonna let this one crawl right back under its rock and move on to the next spot. During the summer, we like to hit the creeks up. It's just too hot, especially later in the day. So in the afternoon, we we find refuge from the hot weather out here. We usually do pretty well finding a lot of amphibians, salamanders, frogs, and toads along the creeks. But today we're hoping to find a wood turtle. They're a terrestrial semi-aquatic turtle. They spend a fair amount of time in the water. Uh, they eat fish, but they also spend a lot of time on land. They like to eat earthworms and mushrooms and things like that. So we're gonna get down the creek here. Hopefully we can find one. What's that in the grass right there? Holy crap, it's a wood turtle. Yes! Yes! Hey! We got a wood turtle back here! All right, Siobhan! <laughs> oh, yes! We got wood! All right, Chris. Well, you're up from Florida, and we wanted to find a wood turtle, and we got one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. I want to see it. Thanks, Matt. There you go. Look at him. It's pretty adorable. It's got little tooth cusps right there. Kind of like something you see in red belly turtles. You know really what else cool is really cool turtle. about the wood turtle? What's that? Is they'll stomp on the ground a lot and try and simulate rain. Bring up worms. Not only do they eat worms though, but they do spend a lot of time in the creeks. The wood turtles like to eat fish also, and there's a few species of mushrooms that they tend to enjoy. Now with most turtles, the wood turtle does have very obvious sexual dimorphism. This one's a male, and we can tell it's a male because it has a real concave plastron. This area is concave for when he mounts a female turtle so he can get up on top of her really easily. So I'm really glad we came out here today. I've been waiting a really long time to actually see one of these turtles and this one's really been a treat. It's really awesome. But one thing that these guys face is a lot of people actually like to keep these as pets. I mean, can you blame them? This thing's pretty adorable. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do the exact opposite of that. We're going to do the ethical thing and we're going to put it right back where we found it. Just right here in the grass. I found another one! Oh, this one's been marked. This is a study animal. This animal's part of a research study. It's got two shell notches in it. Oh, looks like a female. Yeah, little tail, and this is very flat. It's not all concave, so we have a female here. Uh, it's been notched three different times at least in the shell. There's a drill hole here, a drill hole here and a drill hole here. That's often a method scientists will use to track turtles and their movements. I've seen it done before multiple times. It really doesn't cause the turtle a lot of harm. They bleed a little bit, but they really don't feel a lot of pain from that activity. Um, they're really striving to get some sort of protection on these animals. They're not quite sure on population numbers and other information about them. So it's important that we find out how well they're doing out here because they may really merit some protection. Reptiles and amphibians are an important part of the ecosystem. Enjoy your encounters, but try to keep them brief, returning all the animals to where you found them. Leave wildlife in the wild. Please don't take your discoveries home as pets. Be sure and see all of our outdoor adventures at CamelChairProductions.com.